These are the brand new Liberty Air 2 Pro earbuds from Anchor, and these are the Liberty 2 Pro. In this video, I'm gonna compare these two as well as compare them to the AirPods Pro and the Jaybird Vista. I'm also gonna give away a brand new pair of the Liberty Air 2 Pro, so if you'd like to win those, make sure you stick around. If you're a little confused by these two, I wouldn't blame you. In fact, no one would blame you. The names are similar, the boxes look similar, and even the earbuds look kind of similar, but they're actually pretty different. Now I'm gonna try to keep this review relatively short, but if you'd like a full written comparison, as well as a video comparison, I'll link those both down in the description when they're done. So what makes the new Liberty Air 2 Pro different? Well, they have some exciting new features that make them a real competitor to the AirPods Pro. First of all, they work equally great with either iOS or Android, which isn't something that can be said of AirPods. They also have an app that works great with both also. They also have ear detection, just like the AirPods, meaning that when you take them out, playback stops. When you put them back in again, playback restarts. They also have active noise cancellation and transparency, just like the AirPods Pro. But the real shocker is the price. These True Wireless earbuds retail for only $130, which is nearly half the price of the AirPods Pro. These prices may have gone down, so if you guys want to see updated prices, as well as help to support the channel, you can click the links in the description below, and I really appreciate it. You're probably thinking, yeah, but I bet those features are nowhere near as good as they are on the AirPods Pro. In my test, I did find that the AirPods Pro had slightly better active noise cancellation, but not by a lot, and certainly not by enough to justify double the price. Now, the Air 2 Pro do also have the ability to adjust the noise cancellation in the app so you can suit it to your needs. Both earbuds do a good job of blocking out sounds from things like air conditioners, road noise, and other repetitive sounds. Both also block out voices similarly using passive and active noise cancellation, but it is important to remember that neither one of these are going to block out 100% of voices, which is probably a good thing in most situations. If you do want maximum noise isolation, I would recommend over-the-air headphones from someone like Sony or Bose, or if you have $500, Apple will sell you a pair. I really wouldn't recommend AirPods for Android users, but it is good to know that the active noise cancellation and transparency features will still work. However, you won't be able to modify those features or any features of the headphones really while using Android. Some apps do attempt to make this work better, but success is limited, and I really think you'd be better off just going with the Liberty Air 2 Pro. The Liberty 2 Pro have a few key differences when compared to the Liberty Air 2 Pro. First of all, I don't have ANC, transparency, or ear detection. They also have an oval shape as opposed to the stem style that comes on the Air 2 Pro. And they have a physical button as opposed to the touch controls that are found in the Air 2 Pro. So why would you want to get the Liberty 2 Pro? The main reason is that they put sound first. Sound is a highly personal preference, but I'll do my best to convey to you how I think these earbuds sound. In terms of sound, I like the Liberty 2 Pro best. This shouldn't really come as a surprise since they are the earbuds with the most emphasis on studio quality sound. Anchor says that they utilize something called Astrio Coaxial Architecture and claims that they are recommended by 10 Grammy award-winning producers. Second place is a little more complicated, but I would give that to the Liberty Air 2 Pro in my opinion. In my opinion, the Air 2 Pro has more richness and complexity to the audio than the AirPods Pro. Another interesting option is the Jaybird Vista, which have excellent sound for a fitness-focused design, but do lack features such as ANC and transparency. However, to the casual listener, I would say that you'd be happy with the sound out of any of these earbuds. And truth be told, it's probably more about listening to your favorite artist, podcast, or YouTube video, and less about having the highest fidelity audio experience. It's important to point out that for the Anchor Soundcore earbuds, you really want to take the time to get the best EQ setting in the app. Now, in particular, I really didn't like the Soundcore Signature EQ, but I did like the Acoustic EQ, and there's lots of other choices as well. Additionally, you can use the Hear ID test, to test your ears, see which sounds you hear best, and adjust them as well to your left and right hearing. Now, when you get them correct, I really felt that the Soundcore earbuds have punchier bass and a more rich and complex sounds than the AirPods Pro. However, if you're really looking for the most absolute best sound, then I would recommend the Liberty 2 Pro. These earbuds just have a slightly better job at really isolating the individual notes, the music and are better at handling the really loud and punchy lows and mids of music. Well, they aren't the best for working out though, so it really depends on what you're looking for. All earbuds utilize Bluetooth 5, which offers great range and stability. All earbuds also come with several different sizes of ear tips. However, the Anchor offers the most customization, giving you nine pairs of ear tips with the Liberty Air 2 Pro and seven pairs of ear tips and three pairs of air wings with the Liberty 2 Pro. 
Well, wife also found that the Liberty Air 2 Pro actually fit her ears a little bit better than the AirPods Pro because they're a little bit smaller and it fits just fit a little bit nicer, so it's something to consider. I was positively surprised by call quality with all these earbuds, but by nature, earbuds with the stem design are gonna to tend to have the best call quality, and that would be the Liberty Air 2 Pro and the AirPods Pro. That's because the microphone is located in the stem, putting it closer to your mouth. However, the Liberty 2 Pro is pretty good as well since they have four microphones and CVC-8 noise reduction. The earbuds with the least call quality would be the Jaybird Vista since they have a very compact form, putting the microphone farther away from your mouth, but they still aren't bad. The Liberty Air 2 Pro comes in four colors and has a battery life of seven hours per charge claimed, plus 19 hours in a case for a total of 26 hours. For the Liberty 2 Pro, they have slightly more battery life at eight hours per single charge and 32 hours, including the case. For the AirPods Pro on a single use, it's significantly less for 4.5 hours on a single charge, but has 24 hours when including the case. Finally, the Jaybird Vista offers an impressive six hours on a single charge, but falls a little short on the case for a total of 16 hours. When you need a quick charge, all these earbuds have got your back. The Liberty Air 2 Pro offers three hours of listening off of just a 15 minute charge, while the Liberty 2 Pro gives you two hours from a 15 minute charge, and the AirPods Pro and the Jaybird Vista both give you one hour of listening from a quick five minute charge. All support wireless charging with the exception of the Jaybird Vista, and thankfully all the cases charge with USB Type-C. When it comes to serious sports and fitness use, the Jaybird Vista are the clear winner. They have a compact and secure fit, they're IPX7 waterproof, dustproof, and shock and drop resistant. The Liberty Air 2 Pro, the Liberty 2 Pro, and the AirPods Pro are all IPX4 water resistant. While it shouldn't be a problem for most workouts and daily use, the Jaber Vista are the only ones that are supported for water resistance up to one meter. All right, so now for the giveaway. If you guys wanna win this brand new pair of Liberty Air 2 Pro, it's just a couple simple things you gotta do, and I'll also put the instructions down in the description below this video. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to the channel here at YouTube, then go over to my website at betterlifereviews.com and subscribe to the newsletter there. I'm gonna check all the entries between now and the end of August, and I'll notify the winner by email. Good luck. So what's the takeaway? Well, hopefully by now you have a pretty good understanding of what each of these earbuds does well and which one may be best for you. I'd say that for most people, the best all-arounder is gonna be the Liberty Air 2 Pro, since it has a really great set of features. It has wireless charging, active noise cancellation, transparency, and has a really great app that works great with both iOS and Android, while all that being a lot less expensive than the AirPods Pro. Now, if you really want the most high fidelity sound, you're probably gonna to wanna to go for the Liberty 2 Pro. And if you're someone who really prioritizes sports, fitness, and active use, you may wanna go with the Jaybird Vista. Lastly, the AirPods Pro could be a good choice for you if you're someone who really dislikes the Apple ecosystem and you like that integration. If you guys do have any questions, go ahead and leave them down in the comments below. Go ahead and smash that thumbs up button, turn it blue. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Also, if you found this video helpful and you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day. <laughs>